where to begin, where to start. Well, excuse me, everybody. I'm just having a moment right now. And well, before I go on, I want to, well, first, um, today's date is, sorry, because I just have so much to say. And it, puppy, baby, <laughs> please, honey. Okay. Sorry about that. He's he's being a puppy right now. Go give me your toy. Go get it. Go get it, puppy. Thank you. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> uh, I gotta love him. Dogs. D O G. Anyways, um. Like I said, yeah, I'm um, sorry about that. I just I have so much I want to say. I, well, I do. I'm going to say it. I just have. Anyways, um, just forgive me. I'm just uh, really, like, um, and excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, fair warning. I'm, it's going to be emotional, um, this message. And um, I don't mean to, but I'm. Um, this is, it is what it is. This is me documenting well before puppy interrupted. Um, well, he didn't interrupt me. I don't mean to sound like that, but um, um, today's date. Sorry, <laughs> I'm really like I cannot believe this is like I can, but I, I wow, just the dream is real. And um, it's taking me like two minutes to uh, say what I was originally going to say and start, but um, I guess that's how it was meant to be. So today's date is, oh, sorry about that, I have so much to see, and I have, to, I have, I have one phone to use, another phone is because I have so much stuff and, and all that good stuff. Um, so anyways, um, before I, I go on and on and talk too much, because I already am, um, well, I can't even find the date because it's right in front of my face. Today is Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. And um, this video is to capture this moment to share with you. But most importantly, hopefully... One day my kids will see this some way, somehow. And excuse me. Um so I don't know how long this is gonna last because uh, I have so much stuff and anyways I'm I'm lucky that it has um, recorded this far, but um, I just and, and please forgive me because I have so much I want to say. I just I don't even know like how it's just I've never I've well first of all I've never. Not that I didn't expect this, it's just like, it's here. This is real. And what you're getting is the raw, unfiltered, filtering moment of, of me actually experiencing this moment in my life. And um, I, I worked, and literally, I, I wish I could show you right now, but <clears throat> I, I don't want to take the focus off of this right here because this. And sorry, I'm I'm shaking. It looks like I'm shaking, but I'm just. I am so grateful, and um, wow, I just I'm, I'm really. I'm, I'm trying not to sound so um, 
emotional, but um, this moment means a lot to me because I have put my all into this and um, as you can see with the screen that I'm recording that's been recording is um sorry let me okay uh, that right there is my nonprofit organization that I recently just um, created and uh, for some reason I just I don't know call me weird I am sometimes but um sometimes my you know weird little little quirks or whatever you want to call it can lead me to great things like this can and has led me to things like what started this the idea that created the start of something so freaking awesome and as you can see it's here it's real this is really happening and um so um i did a little search right now just out of the blue i i don't even just it, it, i just did and um uh what happened was as I was scrolling through the search results, and to, I don't know, maybe to you it, it, or whoever is going to watch this, it might seem silly or like it's not that big of a deal, but it is a great, it's a, in, in my eyes, in to me, it's like one of the biggest deals and it's a very big deal in the aspect of <clears throat> excuse me and the work that I do and the advocacy that I have spent hours upon hours days upon days nights upon nights just Everything, my all, my energy, my the last of my energy, the the first of my energy, the beginning of my day, the you know, I literally wake up, go to bed. Sometimes, some days, there was no sleep, and when I did get to sleep, it was not until my work was done for that day and I felt satisfied that I did enough work to put in to either help a friend, to help another mother, to help another father, to help a family, to help, just to help. And my dedication has not only been to just the purpose of what my organization now stands for it, but it's in connection with every advocate out there, every hardworking friend of mine that I have had the pleasure to connect with on the deepest, most personal and meaningful level Nationwide, my friends, uh, sorry, you guys, it just looks, this is amazing to me. And I wish this could be longer, but I'm going to have to save that for another video because I don't want to get too emotional already. I already sound silly, but um, I love you guys. I, 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 couldn't have done it without you. You guys 
gave me the strength, the motivation, the the push to just not give up and I want to um, also dedicate part of this, sorry for the noise in the background, they're doing work outside, um, but um, I've lost a uh, I've lost a couple of friends to uh, to the effects that CPS can do to one's mind, to their mental health, to their will to live, to keep going on after fighting for so long, after depriving them of their essence of living, their purpose, their children, their offspring. And um, not too many people know that feeling of waking up and um, the first thing you say is, oh, good morning, heartache. Good morning, heartbreak. Good morning. And you have to go throughout your whole day just feeling powerless and Helpless, not because you are, not because you're weak, but just because everything that has or was something to you, everything is, that meant something to you, and that was your children, was taken from you. And if you're a parent like me, if you're a parent like them, if you're a parent like most parents that are involved in, unfortunately, and this there's not even a word to really say anyways um <sighs> sorry i just i kind of got off a little bit off uh but at the same time i didn't i, I believe this is what's supposed to be part of the message because this is why I'm doing this because I want to show everybody the real deal unfiltered unrestricted uncensored the truth the good, the bad, the ugly, the sad, the happy, the beautiful, the, you know, magical, the... I've always had faith no matter what, even... You couldn't imagine my darkest days in this, and it's been years. And that's not counting... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> that's not counting my own, you know, story. And um, me being taken at birth and anywho's um, so back to what I was saying. I'm sorry, I, I kind of jumped from subject to topic and stuff, but um, 
Another side effect of, of, of this can be, well, for me, is um, certain emotions that, you know, are supposed to be felt, certain emotions and, and things that, you know, a normal person would be able to um, just express, you know, regularly, whatever that means. <laughs> but, um, as for me, uh, certain things, it's it's difficult because I I don't get to express certain things, and sometimes it's uh, it could come off a little um, just difficult to express, uh, you know, in the sense of the norm, or just to even be able to, to articulate just saying what's, you know, on my mind without being um, self-conscious. And I think that's just what CPS does. They kind of hijack your, you know, your, um, just your life, basically, in general. So enough of the, the Debbie Downer side of it all I just uh, I wanted to just take a moment really fast before I end this message and um, I want to uh... sorry I want to give a special moment dedication to the parents that were lost and um, and lost I mean hold on one second were uh, fortunately taken from us uh, way too soon due to lack of resources and help and um, the destruction and the mental uh, strain that CPS is notorious and infamous for being the way they are and what they strive for is um, to just strip you not just your children not just you know that's that's just the beginning but um, sometimes, sometimes they're successful in breaking down a person completely. And unfortunately, I've lost some very good um, friends along the way. And most recently, we just lost another parent. And... Um, I, I'm not going to say her name because I don't have permission to um, I just out of respect but um, for those of you who know who she is um, you know who she is and I just want to give my condolences to her and her family and her children that unfortunately suffered that loss and I can't even write my name right now that I was trying to. Hold on one second, because I just... It upsets me so much that... I, it 
and she was a very uh she was one of the like pioneers you know like um see i've, I've met a lot of and, and the crazy part is that i haven't even met i mean to be quite honest i haven't met any of, of my friends that i'm speaking of not to say that 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 is you know that makes them any less of a person or, or a friend in, in, in general. Um, to be quite honest, the, these uh, friends that I'm referring to have been more of a friend that I've even had in, excuse me, um, a friend that I've, you know, I'm comparing to uh, a friend that I've actually had in, in, you know, like real life and actually have, you know, been physically around um, these friends of mine that I have not met have actually been more of a support system. Um, I mean, the, the level of dedication and, and just uh, loyalty and friendship has been uh just unmatched in, in all aspects and I just I just wanted to say that and um uh hold on really quickly is of course my phone wants to act up so okay okay um so With that being said, I just, it just really, uh, it hits different when it comes to moments like this because you just, you know, you would, you would wish that, uh, you could share it with that person, but reality is you can't because they're not here anymore and it's uh, it cuts deep it really does it, it hurts me to know that and um, I, I can't dwell in that but it's you know it's it's a feeling and, and we got to uh, stop being so, you know, this uh, society has become a society of, of, of uh, everybody wants to just, you know, hurry up and, and, and it's, it's, you know, give me it now or, you know, it's, uh, nobody wants to actually, to me, in a sense, uh, be human <laughs> it's like uh hello yeah we have feelings yeah um can we feel this really fast so you know just for a little moment uh people tend to forget that and uh, i i can't uh sit here and say that i have it myself but you know i've become aware that i have kind of you know anywho's um So to those who aren't with us today, I I really wish you were, but um, you know, it's just it's just not um possible um for whatever reasons that they decided you know they couldn't doesn't make them any less of a parent doesn't make him any less of a, of, to me, a warrior, a soldier. A badass, just person that 
had the strength to do it every day up until, you know, they just couldn't. And to me, that still doesn't take away the hard work that they put in for all those years. Because, I mean, like I said, they, 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 uh, they were there before even I, you know, uh, even got to here, even before I even knew where to turn, before I even was uh, invited to even have the opportunity to become part of this movement. And um, sometimes adversities, sometimes tragedies, sometimes It seems to be, you know, a terrible situation can actually be a blessing in disguise. Sometimes God does things. God does things because his plan is way better than you could ever imagine. Sometimes Will purposely do things that hurt at the moment seems so so terrible something that you know you couldn't imagine to ever have you know to deal with but sometimes it's for the best because they can bring out something so spectacular something so purposeful something that is not just about you it's not just about you it's not just about me it's not just about my children it's not it never was can't you see how beautiful this is? It's just begun. But it's it's happening and the moral of the story is even in death, even in tragedies such as what I just you know said. I'm glad that I'm here today because I know exactly how it feels to just want, you know, to end it all, just to give, not not to give up, not because I was weak, not because I, you know, because I was so strong for so long that waking up another day with all my babies just it didn't seem worth it to me, and it doesn't. But you know what? It is now. Because I have a purpose. And I have an important role to continue on. Especially. 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 For the cause. that I'm fighting for, for the cause that took my friends' lives because this is a battle that's it's not meant for everyone. And to be quite honest, it shouldn't be. But you know what? God puts his strongest soldiers in the front line of the battlefield. And I just want to say that even though it hurts oh so bad, even though it doesn't seem to be
any hope. 